Welcome back to the Stu Football Fans. It's your boy Lolo. We got Mark. And yes, believe it or not, I actually invited a Spurs fan here. This is Stop Chris. Stop the table, Lowe. baby. You don't talk yet. <laughs> this is Chris. Leave that in. Leave that in. I said, I Two said Two Mondays you don't in a row. <laughs> Before we get started, uh, don't forget to like and subscribe and click the bell. And um, you can buy us beers if you want, man. Uh, join us on the Patreon account and uh, donate. And you can buy us some beers and we'll say thank you. Like this sweet baby Jesus. All right, <laughs> let's get started. Arsenal and Tottenham Hotspurs. Hot Hotspur. Hotspur. No, I'm Sing. doing it on purpose because I don't care. <laughs> I don't know if you guys saw my music video or not, but I think I made myself perfectly... Arsenal sucks. Ar Arsenal sucks. I, I think I, I let everybody know how I feel about the spur. Um, Bottom of the table. Top of the so table, happy. baby. Two weeks. Two weeks. Come on. Okay, two so more that's days it in a row. my monologue. <laughs> <laughs> that's it. Okay. Don't Good night, Gracie. Like <laughs> Tottenham. Hotspurs, you guys, uh, you're pretty good. Yeah, you're pretty good. I gotta say, I gotta say. Um, a little louder, a little louder for the people in the back. For the people in the, the people at the bottom of the table. For the people at the bottom of the table, a little louder, a little louder. <laughs> Why did I invite this guy here? Uh, Tottenham Hotspurs, you guys, you guys, uh, you guys are pretty good. You're pretty good. Uh, and Arsenal, I, I think we actually played one of our better matches in that it looked like half of the players actually cared. So yeah, that, that's that's moving forward for us. Um, 49,000 crosses into the box for Not some successful. reason because we Zero don't goals. have Olivier Giroud there anymore. I don't know who we're <laughs> Who were planning those crosses to go to? Because that's not the people we have on our team. But uh, hey, it was good to go double digits in something. <laughs> um, possession. I mean, you had possession. Okay, we're, we're opening 80, it up to 80, the 20, table. I got 80, nothing. 20 it was 69. Thank you very much. Yeah. I want to introduce you guys to somebody that I used to call a friend before I found out that he was a, a Tottenham fan. Uh, this is Chris, everybody. Um, he's got a lot to say. Please forgive him. Uh, he chose this team for some reason. Here we go, Chris. Go ahead. Go ahead and t tell me about your team. Uh, so we're Tottenham Hotspur. Uh, also go by the Spurs. Pride of North London. F top of the table. It's at uh, two Mondays in a row. And I, I forget where uh, Arsenal 15th, 16th. Uh, I mean flirting with relegation at this point, if they don't really shape up. Top assist in the league, second top goal scorer in Sonny. Um, I mean, what else can Sun we say? Who, Mourinho. Son who has as many goals as Arsenal. Correct. Son, Correct. by himself. He's not your top Ten. scorer. Ten. Patrick no, 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 Bamford he, he, has he more has goals than you oh, guys. But, but Calvert-Lewin has 11. I'm saying not, not top yeah, of the yeah, league, yeah, not yeah. top in the league. I thought Kane had, no, Kane, Kane, Kane has, has 11 more. assists. That's top assist in the league. Yeah. <laughs> and it's uh, you know, it's really they've they've come around Mourinho. We had a little shaky start with Everton, you know that that first loss. Uh, other than the West Ham points dropped, it's been it's been solid. And that was you know some mistakes on Davison and a miraculous volley into the upper corner in the 93rd minute. I mean, you can't really blame anyone for that because Larissa isn't saving that. But the, and you that know, was those... Lanzini who who's been non-existent for three years yeah. or something. <laughs> That was my favorite match of the year so far, was the last 10 minutes of the West Ham Tottenham match. And those, those last 10 minutes are the anxious minutes. I mean, being a Tottenham fan for 13, 14 years now, it's, that's the time when your heart's racing. We've lost too many that way. Yeah. I mean, in, in that West Ham, it wasn't a loss, but you lost two points. I mean, granted, we came away with one, but it should have been three. You know, you're up the whole match and you expect to finish that out. With such a tight, title race that it's gonna be with Liverpool getting Liverpool still being Liverpool City's getting better uh Chelsea's doing great the you guys are there like the old top six again I mean after after this weekend switch yeah. Leicester and Arsenal well but yes. yeah, I, I I think what we're really but seeing what I'm saying is those two points could be immensely important like could be the difference between first and third yeah I mean right now there's only three there's only three points separating the top four right yeah yeah I think in the last week we've really seen kind of the the cream of the league rise, and that's been really cool. Um, 
I mean, it's not been cool for like a Southampton, a West Ham, an Austin Villa that started out so hot and has dropped like what four of the last five. Yeah. Um, they you know, out it, hot, it, but yeah, I mean, they... are you feeling confident that 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 that, that, you know, that the Spurs are going to continue their 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 rise and their hold to the top? Because when I watch when I watch when I watch the the, the pundits when I watch the 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 shows in England. They talk about Tottenham choking. They're like, yeah, it's good for now, but we're just, well, there's a, we, a we term, expect them, we expect them to choke and, and there, step there's a away. Term, there's a term, they're called serial bottlers. Uh, yeah. they, it's the same thing with the last 10 minutes. They lose games, you know, they lose points. Um, it's, Spursy. it's when it gets to the end. Spursy it's when it gets to the turn. end. And, and, but the thing is, it's because it's been 60 years since, you know, since they, since they won the league. And that stuff creeps in and it gets into your, I mean, it's even with, uh, with last year's Champions League final. After that early handball, you're down a goal. They, they don't have that winning history and mentality in recent times where people are like, we can fight back, we'll fight back, we'll overcome this. Mourinho brings that to them. He's a winner. He's, he's bringing that history of winning and, and uh, just heart and not, not giving up and expecting more from the player next to you than yourself. And just making sure that you you win the you play the game out, you know. He put in Joe Roden in the 92nd minute because he wanted to make sure that his back eight was not going was going to keep that clean sheet. Four clean sheets in a row, you know. One of them we didn't score either. The Chelsea game, you know, that would have been a nice three points. But at the same time, four clean sheets in a row, and he's going to carry that on. And that that confidence is going to carry on to the team, and that winning attitude and finishing matches out and raising trophies at the end of the year is really really what this is about. You know, the one thing, I guess there's a lot of things, but uh, I would say the biggest thing for me that makes me a bit envious of your squad right now is the, the joy <clears throat> and the fun. I see Sun and Kane. Telepathic communication right now. I mean, they... but but the smiles, the smiles on their faces, the yeah, the they're Harry, feeling it. Harry Kane being happier Assisting. for his assist yeah, yeah. than he was for his goal after the match talking about it going oh my goal like he almost said that probably shouldn't have even gone in like i just smashed it it's kind of true i mean <laughs> when, look near post, the, top, you know, son's goal was yards, a thing of beauty he's 50 <laughs> yards Colazzo. away with his back to the goal i don't even know if he took a peek and just it's telepathic. It's telepathic at this and point. And Sun like knows where he's did not be. slow down. And Sun's got the ball like, <laughs> like running. He's like, oh, you can advance. You can advance. It doesn't matter. Boo! Cut inside one time. Right foot. Oh, golazo. Beautiful goal. Hate saying it, but beautiful goal. The, what makes it easier for me to say that is, there's only so much you can do on a goal like that. I mean, That's, the keeper's not stopping it. It's keeper's it. not stopping it. We were pressing. No one expected Kane. Like, Kane looks like he's doing hold-up play. And then all of a sudden, he launches the ball over his shoulder. I don't even, it was on the ground. It was just in path, in, in Sonny's path, just in stride. Just left foot, back to the goal, left foot, just gave it right up the left flank, and that was done. I mean, it was Sonny's to just streak up the field. But it's the it's the fun and the joy that you guys are having. Now, yes, winning. And being at the top of the table will winning help. Winning and being at the top of the table really <laughs> helps. That and the and the work ethic of of Hobag. Hobag, come on. You mean that brilliant Dane that's come in? <laughs> 25 years old from Southampton. For what, 15 million? Yeah. I mean, he's he's played every minute yeah. of the Premier League. Yeah, yeah. The only the only player in the entire team has played every single minute. And he's been phenomenal. I mean, he's he's everywhere. He's in his own six. He's in the in the imposing third within seconds. Within you, you, seconds. Know, you you blink and it's like, wait, that, that's the same number five that was just over. I mean, what yeah. what what's happening? Yeah. He, he's he's quick. He's tactical. He's smart. You know, he he makes those passes. It's the, it's the small short passes, but it it just progresses progresses it up the field. And it's what Winks used to do before he fell out of favor a little bit. You know, after that West Ham loss. Yeah. He and he and Sanchez really fell out of favor with. Sanchez hasn't. Sanchez is gone, no. Uh, well, he's, he's, he's playing been playing Europa. in Europa League, so you know we have the the B team, which could beat some other some other Premier League starting 11s. 
That's just sort of relegated to Europa right now. Speaking, speaking of Hoiberg. 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 Speaking of Hoiberg. Hoiberg. You guys bought him for 15 million pounds. I think you guys dropped points the past three weeks, three, four weeks without him. I think wins could be draws, draws could be losses. He, just the fact his that work he, rate, his, his work he's rate is just everywhere. unstoppable. He's the, a little pit bull, he's everywhere. I everywhere. was calling fouls on him for the entire match and they weren't called, which means they weren't fouls. They just look super wow. aggressive. Okay. They just look super aggressive. So as a fan, I'm going, that, how is that not a foul? He should be off the pitch already. That should be another yellow card. That. Yet he's not even getting called on fouls. And I'm not seeing the replays where, no, they were just really good tackles. And he's screaming and yelling, da, 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 and then he stops and he just kind of smiles at one point. And I'm like, fuck off, don't smile at me. <laughs> um, I don't know. I, I think that I... I think he has been the biggest signing. I mean, aside from getting some players to help out with Europa League mm. and take some stress off Kane and Sonny up front and even Mora, um, you know, to have a little more depth. Because, you know, in the past couple of seasons, there's been injury issues. I yeah. mean, Lamella yeah. is always injured. I mean, he's whether it's his hip man. or he's his done, ankles man. or he's just always injured. Um, he's done. And, you know, then just to have a little more depth, um, he's, he's really... Joy beer, all 15 million of them from Southampton. It's just really, he's he's had the most impact this season for sure. He's also a, a great disciple of uh, Mourinho at this point. I mean, you hear him in, in post-game interviews, yeah. and he's just repeating the points. As are all the players. I mean, all the yeah. players have signed up. Yeah, they signed yeah. up. They want to win silverware yeah. under Mourinho, yeah. and they know that he's a winner, and they know that if they follow the system, and they're in, as invested as he is, it, it'll, it's only a matter of time. Only a matter of time. So speaking of Mourinho. Is this technically year two? Ah. Because Mourinho wins championships year two. Does this count as year two? Or it's well, year two if you win it. If you don't win it, it's not really year two. Next year's year two because he came in halfway. <clears throat> technically, uh, as of two, three weeks ago, he'd been there one year. Um, he so came we're in, in the year so he, two. So he, he came in about 10 or 11 matches in yeah. last season. We were... Sitting in 14th, had worst start in, I think, history. I mean, like where you guys are now. So maybe you can get a good coach next year. I don't know who's available. Potch probably won't come, but who knows? We'll see what they can do. Something, hopefully. Oh, just for them. Oh, the but, Bosque uh, vampire. <laughs> <laughs> he does have a vampire. Uh, so so I, I, a vampire that's what we've vibe. been calling him is the Bosque I, vampire. I, I personally think that I don't <laughs> think you really can bad. call this his his second year uh only because of of, of covid his first last full season only because of covid last year and so so if 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 covid doesn't happen i think you can call this season his second year but because that happens yeah he's gonna need he's probably gonna need two so of those. i guess historically historically <clears throat> has he has he ever taken over a team mid in I shambles don't. mid season i don't and i don't want to say so. they were in shambles but they were off that, and shambles off the enough to fire Pochettino, who who had gotten them to places that they hadn't been and, in a long and time. And still, anytime there's an open management position, his name is brought up, which shows you how the football world thinks of him. Right. Uh, and what, people and what are talking about, about being brought up to have him come to fucking what, uh, going to Arsenal. Yeah, they people <laughs> keep saying. <laughs> Nah, Again, it'll be a, talking, assassin's a, 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 Attached to Arsenal, you attached to mind. Man United. Oh, hey, come uh, on. No, not a fucking chance. Are you kidding me? I if, mean, if, if, oh. if Ole wasn't winning on, on the road, he would be gone. But he somehow I finds a way to win on the road. Might, right. No, he's think not he's still going to get the boot? No, he's not. He wins on the road. He's won every match on the road from behind. From behind. They're in fourth happening? place. Why is this they're happening? Like, they're, they're like fourth they're, or fifth place. They're like fourth place. or fifth place. No, the the, the, the Manchester Derby next but, week. Is okay, once it, let, let, let's talk about that. So so yes, hey, so you you want to say Arsenal's down in fifteenth place? Yes, we are. But Man United was down there two three weeks ago because right, fifth, but they've they've gotten results. Wait, they've gotten fifteenth place and fifth place are only like five point difference. Right now, it's true. It is <laughs> so. I think, I think somebody needs a little work on their math. <laughs> <laughs> Look it up. 
I don't use a cell phone, so I can't look it up. But <laughs> Ever. Carrier pigeons? Never use a Carrier cell pigeons phone. only with this guy. Hey, Google. We have the longest <laughs> cannon hey, string <laughs> between our flats. Right That's what you guys call it, 11? right? Flats? What are you guys on? 11? Arsenal. Not, not many. Not, not as much many. as Not as many as Tottenham. And Certainly you know, not as many goals. And we got like we 10 goals. We have one goals. player with as many goals as they do. Do you realize we started the season with a 3 0 win? So we got three of our points in game one and three of our goals in game one. So. So when you seven look, in the last nine. No, ten. Seven in the last seven ten. Seven goals in the last ten. Yeah. Not a great average. Not a great average. Not a great average. No. You're not you're not climbing up the table with that. But still, Tottenham suck. Well, Tot- hey, Tottenham uh, suck. So think, have, have, can have, I look at the table. I don't know if you've seen the table lately. The I, table? The table what? The table doesn't lie. I think it's time to get to the meat and potatoes of the match and talk about Arsenal for a little bit. And well, thank I for, you for calling us meat and potatoes, though. Potatoes and meat. Top of the table, oh. and the potatoes, you which said, is the second talk course. Meat and potatoes. Let's We're talk talking Arsenal. meat and potatoes here. So I, 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 I will give I will give Arsenal Some a lot of like credit. The cranberries. Though. They played so much better than they have in the last few weeks. Uh, they showed a little bit of sense of purpose. Uh, they still can't score a goal uh, to, to save the life, but you can talk to Arteta about that. I want to ask Lolo. How do you feel about Lacazette being in the starting lineup? I think, I think actually, I was very happy with Lacazette starting. After seeing him play in the Europa League, um, they, we gave him the captain's armband, and he played his ass off. Yes, we're playing Rapid Vienna, not a Premier League team, but he was, he commanded the pitch. He was a captain. He, he was up and down. and. And he wasn't playing in a, in a main striker role, so he was free to drop back and be creative. And he picked out tons of passes. So I had, I had sent out a post this week saying, I want Lacazette to get the armband and be captain and play in a center attacking midfielder role. And that's essentially what Arteta did. He started him up front, but immediately he dropped back. And he was. He did. He did a lot of what what I thought. He he was causing you guys problems because he is very aggressive. Problems, you know, problems. Yours more than ours. But. Yeah. Um, <clears throat> but he was able to to roam. I think where Lacazette disappoints a lot of our fan base is when we have him as a as the main striker and. He gets no service, he gets nothing in there, or he gets service into the box, but he's only like 5'7 or something. He's not a header of the ball. He's, he's a, an Aguero type where he will take a ball that Kane would header and he'll bring take it, it off the chest, it bring it ground. down, and spin and shoot and score goals that way. Now, when those aren't coming, he's kind of useless. But now you put a Bamiang up front, you allow Lacazette to just roam, just roam and cause trouble and pick passes. And that's what I was hoping he was able to do. But I wanted- Neuberg was able, I mean, he was marking him most of the match. I mean, even just man matching him, he was everywhere. Yeah. And I think he, he stifled a little bit of yeah. that. If that was the goal, like I think yeah. he stifled that. And yeah. you know, with, with the height in the back, with Toby and Toby and Dyer in the middle, like the, your crosses aren't getting yeah. through. They, yeah. they found a Spurs head. 95 percent of the time you know every time kane was back there sometimes heading things kane away, was know? great on defense as well so yeah, yeah I, my, I, my thought is that that's where we should start looking to use lacazette is is you know what we're having a problem in midfield put him in there put him in there because he's he's got fire and passion the one thing that i didn't understand is the fact that Obama Yang was kind of drifting around and drifting more toward the center when that wasn't where he was asked to play. He has zero confidence and he's 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 wandering right now. Last week he steals the ball from Rui Patricio and doesn't take a shot. This week he's one on one. Obama Yang one on one against anyone oh. in the world is a sh- very least a shot on goal. Did you not think that was going to be a goal? 
Did, were you not Toby, shitting wait, your Toby's, pants? Toby's, Toby's amazing, amazing fucking buck. slide. Amazing buck. Perfectly Absolutely. timed. Leg. But, but that's just the confidence but, back but there right now. It, that, no, I thought it was a goal. Yeah. And honestly, and, and again, it's one of those things. So, in the last so, 10 so, minutes, so, in the, last so 10 so minutes, the a, anxiety levels as a Spurs fan go through the fucking roof because we know serial bottlers. I mean, I know it. I can say it. I know it's and happened we were, too often. We were banking on it. <laughs> and so. and it, even if one went in. Oi! Go! Oh, Jesus. What have we done? We were accused of being a Leeds TV show. Lucky now, you're a Patreon subscriber. <laughs> well, you got the live you know, feed? So, you got the so, live feed so, right so, so my question is, <laughs> is, is, is does, my, question, my question is this. Does Obama Yang need to watch a video of Jamie Vardy to Obama see Yang. what one-on-one -on -one should be done? Because that guy this week did it. Obama Yang needs... You're taking, you're, but you're taking the credit away from Toby. I think you're I'm not taking from any Oliver. credit away from what I'm not doing is giving credit to Aubameyang. He should have scored, regardless of how good yes, that was. Correct. This is a the 50 million pound man. He's getting captain, paid the captain, big captain, bucks. He's the, leader. He's he the captain. He's got the fucking rainbow armband wait, wait. on. It's Come so on, Aubameyang, you should have scored. You should be doing something. You know what? Fuck it. Oh, I'm just gonna I'm just gonna throw it out guy. there and paint it the way it should be. Arsenal needs someone to step up. The team is looking for someone, they have nobody. Spurs, oh, this, this they guy. can look to Son, they can look to Kane, they can look to Lo any Celso. number of people. Y'all have More. no one stepping Vinicius. up, and if I'm an Arsenal fan, I am frustrated as fuck. Say something! I was trying, man. You're not letting me say nothing. Uh, everywhere we go, everywhere we go, it's the Tottenham voice making all that noise. Everywhere we go. When, when they when they kicked out when, when they kicked Pochettino out, I was I was upset, you know, because he got us to a place that hadn't been in years. Tim, the guy who was screaming out the and, window, and, and Mourinho, oh and they brought yeah, in Mourinho, exactly. this guy, this this who has temper tantrums, who's just like. But until he comes into your own fold and you realize he's doing it for the, the greater good of the club, and it's not, it's not a, it's not from a place of arrogance. It's from a place of passion that if the players and the organization get behind, leads to leads to victory. I mean, it, it leads to winning. And it's not that he's not the kind of guy who's like a, like a Vince Lombardi who's like winning isn't everything. It's the only thing. He's like I hate to lose, and that means everything. It's, and that goes through practice. It's just being consistent and knowing your roles. And just being a tight organ, tight knit team, and just you know where the next guy's going to be, and that's why Kane and, and Son, I say telepathic, because they are such on the same level, and the defense too, that like they know where people are going to be before they're there. Yeah. You, know, you make this pass up the pitch, and you know, full speed, you're going to run onto it, and most offenses are beat, most defenses are beat. I'd like to actually talk about that confidence and fitness and form. Um, and in, in, in talking about why Arteta was willing to have the confidence in Thomas Party and let him play and let him start because that second goal shouldn't have happened. I'll tell you straight away, it's not. It, it's not only his fault. It's not only his fault. And I'm, I'm sure you can speak that more as an Arsenal player. When, when, four, when four players mm. crash mm -mm -mm. Aurier and he finds the open whoever in the middle of the field and then it's just distribution. It's the counter. It's mm -mm. the counter. You Hardy, guys had so, Hardy walked off. So many, he walks matter. off the pitch. He leaves. He has a, his hand. He leaves his spot. His hand is torn. Why, or whatever it why is. doesn't he fall down? Why Maybe doesn't he, he fall down? down? If he Thank falls you, down, you, you fucking they fucking beat. stop play. No, because it's it, an injury timeout. If they have that so, sort of but thing, it was off the play. It was off the play. It wasn't part of the play. He's supposed to play in the middle of the field. If he drops the ball, to be honest, I don't think he's the. I, I know for a fact he's not the only reason that goal was scored. Should he have just fallen down when he's hurt? Yeah. Should Paveda have fallen down in the box to get a penalty? Yeah. But it didn't happen. <laughs> the, the fact is he, he pulled something and started walking over. But there were so many other... The goal was scored with four Arsenal players in the box. Hold on, hold on. The goal was scored with four Arsenal players in the box. You mean to tell me it's Partey's fault? 
like I'm just and the old wondering ran. I mean, about King the, on the outside. He walks off. Near post. He walks I mean, out of position. You're not, you're not he walks so out of position Shaka and lets that happen. Position. If 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 he drops, if he's they were all on the left side of the field. If he drops, no, it was scored from the right side. But look. There, there's no, not a guarantee on play he stops. On the left, guarantee. There's not a, there's not a guarantee that play stops if he falls on the ground. Unless you're holding your head, they're not going to stop the play. And no, even then, so he should have, so he should have, Spurs, Spurs, Spurs he should have pulled a fucking Jimenez. No, <laughs> he, that's why he's going. We're at the end. That was at like 40 For, minutes. 40, 40, 41, 40, 41st 40. minute. He was going. The, 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 the goal time. doesn't. Yeah, the goal doesn't score until Arteta fucking pushes him back on the field. It's, he was already beat. He was and already he beat. He stayed on the field. He was already beat. If he, he stays beat. on the field, he's not going to chase drops. that down. He's not going to chase that like down. Like so many players do. I'm hurt. And I'm going to drop, him. and the ref goes. If it's a break, no. And, oh, the ref doesn't okay? blow. The ref doesn't blow the whistle. The ref does mm-hmm. not blow the whistle. I disagree. On the break. I disagree. Has if he drops to the pitch, does not blow the whistle. He does not. He does not on a break. I, I, I it's swear to God, it's up to the people who have the ball to kick the ball out. It's up to them. It's it a is. gentleman. It's like it a gentleman's is. rule. It's, it's a like... gentleman's rule. It's a gentleman's rule. There, unless it's a head injury, the the ref will not call it unless and play again, has slowed and, and when down they're on a enough. break, they're not going to take somebody saying. Oh, oh, exactly. Oh, like, because exactly. if, if that was they're the case, everyone on, on a fast break would just claim they have a hamstring exactly. injury and fall down. Okay, you know? fair, fair enough. But I still we think. would be hoping that that the Spurs would have kicked the ball out of bounds. That's the only way the play would have stopped. I don't know. And you still would have lost lost one nothing. Exactly. <laughs> right, because you guys can't score. <laughs> or two in the end, like like getting another one. Like we weren't scoring anything. Now to get back to your first question. Why does he have confidence in Partey like that? It's not that. It's a lack of confidence in anybody else. That a 75% Partey is needed. Is better than 100% is, Danny Ceballos? Yeah. Oh, big time. Danny Ceballos is Do you think he was match fit? Do you think he was match fit? No. 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 He was so no. not. Clearly not. If Because nothing really happened. He hadn't just run 80 yards and pulled up hobbling. Yeah, he was I don't just know. Well, yeah, normal, what was normal the... football? So you could tell. It, it but just he was sixty like yards was, behind the play too. It was just building up to me. I I think he, it was just building, and he wasn't. He was not good. Like it, yeah, he yeah, was yeah. not himself. Right. From the beginning, so that just shows that the lack of confidence in everybody. But I think that I think that also speaks to the coach. I mean, I think that's Arteta not being not knowing what to do. I mean, he's. And that's grasping ongoing. at straws with that, you know, it's yeah, definitely putting somebody definitely. in before they're ready, and now he's maybe jeopardized him for another six, eight weeks. And he's also possibly jeopardized that relationship <coughs> because when when a guy comes off and says, I'm and he's off, like, come on, get back in there, get back in there, him, and he what goes, are you doing? He's like, I'm hurt. And he's like, get the fuck back in there. That may make him doesn't trust the coach anymore. You can't, you can't trust the coach anymore. Coach. You can't trust the coach anymore because he's not looking out for his best interest. And, right. and also, he's not going to run back after hobbling off the field. He's not going to sprint what do you think 40 he's yards. Do? He's going to sprint 40 <laughs> yards. I mean, what do I'm going to? I mean, maybe he'll run out and get a red for tackling him from yeah. behind, like cleats up, like through his shins. But he's going to be out for the next four or five games anyway. So might as well take the red card. <laughs> All yeah, right, take fellas. the suspension too, huh? Well, thank you guys for joining us, Chris. Thank you for being go here. Go Spurs! Man. Come yeah, go Spurs. Spurs, go, go away, go, Top just go. <laughs> go, go, there. go. How many trophies? You want to do the outro? Three, three? go, the go. FA Cup, Europa League, and and a treble? Is a treble it's possible? A, it's a treble. Is a treble possible? <coughs> yeah, yeah, mini treble. Tune in. Treble might be possible. All right, all right. Well, if if they get the treble, maybe we'll have him back. All right, all right. Thank you guys. Don't forget to click the like and subscribe and click the bell and all that. Peace.